So way back in 2008, Disney Channel made the movie Camp Rock, which gave us this masterpiece. and also introduced the world to the Jonas Brothers. Now, one year after this, in 2009, Disney Channel gave the Jonas Brothers their very own TV show, because if there's one thing the world needed at that time, it was more of this. And so, as summer's coming to a close, I thought it was about time I checked out the Disney Channel original series, Jonas. But before that, really quick, this video is brought to you by Displate. Displate is a website that does really high quality art prints on like metal plates that you can hang up on your walls or put in your console table or whatever you want to do. And of course, because they're made of metal, they're not going to get broken, not going to shatter or anything you have to worry about with like regular art prints with expensive frames and all that stuff. Displate has over 800,000 different designs from gaming stuff, anime stuff, animals, food, like really anything you can think of that you could possibly be into, they probably have it. They print them on demand for you and depending on where you live, you can get them delivered in just a few days. Putting them up on your walls is incredibly easy because everything comes included. All you have to do is just put the paper base up on the wall, stick the magnet to it, and then hang your display. That's it. Super easy. And because it's done with magnets, you can rearrange them however you want. You can like move them a few inches here and there, get them all lined up, whatever you need. No nails, no drilling, nothing. So even if you're like renting an apartment, for example, you don't have to worry about like holes in the walls or ruining the paint or anything like that. And get this, if you use my link down in the description, you get 30% off for the first week. And after that, you still get 20% off the regular display price every time you order. And if you're an artist yourself, display is a great way to sell your own artwork as well. So if you're looking to buy some new art pieces because you're tired of looking at your empty walls all day, or if you're stuck at home and wondering how you can sell all your artwork that you've been working on this whole time, this plate might just be the place for you. So once again, use my link down below in the description to get 30% off for the first week and then 20% off after that whenever you buy from Display. Okay, back to the show. Right from the beginning, we meet one of our main characters, Nick Jonas, as he and some blonde girl are sitting right in the middle of the freaking steps so everyone's gotta walk around them like, oh, pardon me, madame and monsieur. Don't let me interrupt your no doubt paradigm shift and oh so interesting conversation about, uh, I don't even know, like what are you guys even talking about? Are you kidding? I love golf. My dad taught me. Oh, so you're, you're into it too? It's like my favorite sport. You know, not a lot of people appreciate golf. What's your favorite part of the game? Hitting the ball through the clown's mouth and watching it come out his pants. I'm kidding. Good. <laughs> it's good. All right, see you class. You, you're blocking the stairs for this? Uh, I like golf. Huh, yeah, I like golf too. <sighs> Okay, bye. Anyway, so Nick's brothers, Kevin and Joe Jonas, are worried about Nick because he kind of sort of has this little history of falling in and out of love with about the same frequency as I change my underwear, which is to say like a couple times a month. So what's her name? Whose name? The girl you're crushing on. Crushing? What are you, 11? I think her name was like Jenny or Penny or something. Here we go again. What are you talking about? Nick, you always fall too hard too fast. It's like you meet a girl, then boom, instant love. Then boom, you get dumped, and then boom, broken heart. And me and Kevin are there picking up the pieces. So Nick and this girl Penny keep hanging out and talking about golf and making like weird grunt noises or whatever. And things look like they're going about as well as you'd expect for some random high school romance. I mean, how crazy is it that you love golf and play guitar? I, I just can't believe I'm even playing in front of you right now. You sound great. Well, I have my first real performance this Friday at CBDB's. Wanna come? I'm there. Okay, suddenly I'm nervous. Look, the trick is, just look really bored while you play. Yeah, you know, it's one of those life hacks you learn real quick in high school is how you just kind of have to look like you don't care at all about anything, like, all the time. And then girls get to their mid-twenties, you know, and they look around and they're like, how come every guy I date is so emotionally unavailable? Anyway, the conversation continues. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the trick to recording my first demo? Do it in our studio. Are, are you serious? Of course. I mean, t read the fan magazines, huh? I'm the serious one. <sighs> Thank you. Now, as we learned a little earlier about how Nick likes to move a little too fast with every girl he ever talks to, his brothers are really starting to worry about what's gonna happen this time and like what kind of mess they're gonna have to clean up, you know, a week from now. Easy! 20 questions. Not now, okay? Yeah, gotta... I'm thinking of someone. Uh, mm. I, I, can I go? Uh, is it a girl? Hmm, is Nick moving too fast with this girl? Oh, let me guess, her name rhymes with Flenny. Yes, yes, and yes. Guys, lay off, okay? Okay, you know, I'm pretty sure this show has the most awkward dialogue I've ever heard. Like, I don't even know exactly what it is, but this is just really hard to watch for some reason. And I thought Camp Rock was bad. Now, to prove to himself and everyone else that he is absolutely under no circumstances moving too fast, mm-mm, no sir, definitely not, he does this. Hey, there you are. I wrote you a song. What? I wrote you a song. Can't wait to play it for you. Well, this ought to be good. Yes, 
Sometimes I eat broccoli with my toes Cause I'm Nick Jonas Wow, that was... that was beautiful. So flashing forward a little bit, Penny over here has a little guitar recital show thing at some point in time, and of course Nick is gonna go there to support her and probably just kind of stare at her like this for a while. But as he's getting ready for Penny's big night, his dad shows up with a little bit of that good old fatherly advice that no one ever asked for. Is someone a little too much in love again? I'm not in love, okay? And would everybody please stop saying again? Happened like a couple times. Six times total. Okay, six Pretty sure. Times. Yeah. Maybe. Well, look. I will let you in on a little secret, okay? Your mother was the 23rd love of my life. Well, hey, don't let me stop you from bragging about it. Uh, look at me. I'm so cool. I had 23 girlfriends. <laughs> well, good for you, Mr. Shower Cap Man. I mean, hey, some of us over here can count the number of girls we've dated without even taking our shoes off. Heck, I can do it with my mittens on. Look, seriously, I want you to know that I'm here for you if this little heart of yours breaks again. Not again, for the first time. Not that it is. If it does. I'm here. I'm for you. So that night, all the Jonas Brothers dress up in flawless disguises to go and see Penny perform her little guitar thing, whatever. But before she starts playing, that's when we learn the truth about what's really been going on here. I completely forgot. Um, I'd like to dedicate this song to the coolest, sweetest, grooviest guy on the planet. A guy whose heart is filled with music. My soulmate. Jimmy. That's right, turns out the girl that Nick has had a crush on and has been spending all this time with and writing love songs of the century, I tell you what. Cause I'm Nick Jonas. <laughs> and she's also been kind of like, <laughs> and never once mentioned that she has a boyfriend. <laughs> oh boy, can't wait to hear what Nick's gonna tell her tomorrow. So, what do you think? Your opinion means a lot to me. Actually, I was kind of surprised to hear you sing Give Love a Try. Well, you, you wrote it for me to sing, right? Oh. I mean, that is why you wrote it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's why I wrote it. I wrote it for you to sing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, so here I just drew a little like artistic interpretation of what just happened here. You see, uh, this is Penny over here just being like, I have a boyfriend and he is now you. And 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 this and this is a doormat named Nick Jonas. Now, earlier in the episode, Nick had invited Penny to record a demo tape in their home recording studio. And while they're doing this, Nick just can't keep his feelings to himself, you know, because he's such a sensitive guy. And finally tells Penny how he really feels. I hope you don't think that I led you on. I really like you. And when you said... You wrote me a song, no, I thought- it, it was on me. Hey, I'm just gonna get my stuff and go. You should at least stay and record the song. No, I can't sing it now that I know the truth about why you wrote it. Won't Jimmy be disappointed? And I, I broke up with him. Uh, hold on a second. You broke up with him? When? Yesterday? Six hours ago? You just dumped the guy who was, uh, wait, how'd you put it again? The coolest, sweetest, grooviest guy on the planet. A guy whose heart is filled with music. My soulmate. Right, yeah, that guy. And the first thing you do after this is head on over to the Jonas Brothers house and just be like, Oh, golly gee, I'm stuck in a recording booth with three rock stars who are really famous for some reason. What's a girl to do? Pfft, yeah, okay, whatever. I'm on to you, Penny. And then Nick and Penny record the demo together, and I guess they're like dating now or something. I don't know. And then everything turns out real great, and that's how the episode ends. So Jonas went on for two seasons before getting canceled because turns out it was actually like a really big flop that not even the old classic Nick Jonas stink guy could save. Well, summer is coming to a close, everybody. Can you believe it? Can you believe? I mean, next month is going to be March 157th. Man, how time flies. You know what I mean? But like with things being the way they are and everything, you know, uh, over this past summer, I've really just been focusing mostly on like Disney Channel, Nickelodeon kind of stuff. Really just because, I mean, I don't know. It's just such a simpler time back then, early 2000s, mid 2000s, even like 2010s, give or take. You know, it's like it was such a simpler time. And for a lot of people, myself included, you know, Disney Channel stuff, Nickelodeon stuff, it's all it's all just kind of like comfort food in a way where it's just I mean every show is very simple and really dumb and just goofy and just like doesn't make any sense but you like it anyway it's like I thought I, I thought it might be good to just kind of focus on that kind of stuff uh, just for a little bit not quite sure what I'm gonna change over to I know there's some superhero stuff that people want me to do like star girl and I haven't done black lightning yet coming into September October a lot of shows are gonna start up again obviously Riverdale's gonna start in October I think I'm pretty sure I'm not sure what's going on with that but then there's probably a bunch of other shows coming back pretty soon so you know I'm sure I'll have a whole bunch of stuff to do but over the summer I just kind of wanted to because I never really done any like Disney Channel or Nickelodeon stuff 
until now. I'd always been kind of putting it off. I guess like early on, you know, and when my channel took off way back like two and a half, almost three years ago, you know, I did all the teen drama stuff, right? I did Vampire Diaries and Pretty Little Liars and all that stuff. And then I kind of moved on to superhero stuff for a while. And then I sort of did Netflix stuff. And then now I just did all the Disney Nickelodeon stuff. So coming into the fall and winter of this year, not quite sure what I'll do. But all the same, thanks so much for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun making it. If you're not subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you don't miss any videos from me. Follow me on Twitter if you want to. I don't really use it anymore, but go ahead, I guess. I started a new podcast. Uh, it's like a dating advice, dating story, kind of sort of talking about that kind of stuff type of podcast, you know? So if you want to listen to me talk more about that kind of stuff, then there you go. Link is down below. You can uh, listen to it. Got a couple episodes up already. But above all else, everybody, have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.